this is working. Oh, there we go. Welcome back, everybody, to Kingdom Come Deliverance. I am very sick today. As you will hear in my sniffles, uh, my nose has just decided to become a faucet. I'm just inhaling fucking Vicks at this point. <laughs> Why am I drunk? What the fuck is going on? What up, old dude? You got any food? We're gonna eat these apples. What up? You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. They say Where's he was the a who moved to the countryside to make fortune. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had, he had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Where's the fucking kitchen at? Now. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. Milady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're What the fuck's your name, Bojana? What's up, Bojana? How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you? Young master. Here you are then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, can I eat you now? can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Damn, this dude just being a... I, not like I rode through certain death to get here. Hell, I should have brought the dudes with me at this break. Oh. oh, God. Eat. Food. Give me all the food. Alright, Henry, you will be alright for five seconds, okay? I don't see any wine. Give me the roast duck. Give me all your apples. I'm taking all your food. I'm cleaning out your kitchen. Oh god, I gotta remember controls. Jesus Christ. There we go. Yeah, okay. Fucking sleep. Mm. I'm on phone, Pug. Where the fuck am I going? I'm sleeping in here? I am. Time to sleep.
That didn't take my boots off. Oh, fuck, I left my boots on. <laughs> yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? My lady. Um. No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Lady, listen, it's if you're coming on to me, to I'm down, me. but... My lady, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Let's tell the story. I I'll fucked shit what. up. <laughs> I totally didn't run away like a coward. The day started just like any other. My father sent me into town on some errands. Uh, yeah. Uh, I went to the yeah, tavern to buy My speech needs to go up anyway. I know it's a job for a group, but I didn't mind. Because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while, and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. I'd been secretly learning sword fighting, hiding it from my parents. So when we assembled the sword, I tried a few moves with it. There's a big difference between a wooden sword and a real one. Maybe if I hadn't taken that sword in my hand, I wouldn't be here today. You're full of surprises. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Uh, 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 uh yeah, no, the there was a huge fucking attack. I didn't even see any smoke. I just saw the fucking armored dudes plowing everybody down. Patiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalas. Uh, uh. I didn't see him kill Father Bianca. Told me to take I didn't see him kill Mom and Pa. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party. Honestly, he he was arms, fucking shit saw up. Father and charged at him. Cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I wasn't safe yet. The humans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. 
Hey, there's a sword in the corner. Can I have it? It looks pretty cool. May God punish them. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of human savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Something like that happen. God alone knows why he lets such things happen. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. been merciful to me and my husband either although in comparison to the horrors he went through I was young when I married my husband it was my father's wish Divish was a lot older than I but a woman must bear her lot shortly after our marriage before I even got a look at Talmberg the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavets, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king, and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harvel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. <laughs> How dare he be kidnapped he for seven years and held in a dungeon? Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'm stealing that sword when I'll I wake go up, lady. And let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Can I go back to sleep now, lady? Th take your shoes off, Henry! God damn it. That old dude's gonna come in here and be like, I told you to take your fucking shoes off the bed! I don't know what fucking accent that was.
Wake up. You don't want to miss this. Who is there? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scalas. steal the sword can I there was a sword here no there was a sword here and I fucking want it and where is the sword game where is the sword oh it's my sword <laughs> I didn't even need to steal it, I'm just that fucking good. Er, how does one... How do I do? How do I do the thing? Fire. Oh, my dick was on fire for a minute. How the fuck do I get out of here? Someone let me out, please. Please? Just a second, guys. God, I forgot how fucking good this game looks. Alright, how the fuck do I get on the battlements? Am I? Get out of this private area before they fucking arrest my ass. Where the hell am I going? Gateway stairs. Howdy, boys. The best thing to be strong. Listen up. If it's Sigismund and his army, prepare for the worst. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands. All of this will. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on scouts. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give his scent to Scarlet, the spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spy see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get there. Won't we? I do well. Skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. 
But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left us storming the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? <laughs> just call me a quiet. donkey. I'm sorry about your father. But getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. My I dog will. is just barking like a madman outside. He's a dark time. The joke's on you, I'm going back anyway! Man, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every phone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men... What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yesterday. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Farewell. So do I just chill there. on the battlements then? That's great. Keep watch on the battlements. Cool, cool, cool. Standing watch. Pretty dark out there. If I do say so myself. I'm just walking around the castle, it's fucking raining. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's the way. I will. Thank you.
Uh, did I do it? What the fuck is the horn blowing for? I mean, I'll take the arrows. I'll help me do some hunting later. Like, I can fucking use them, probably. Can I have a weapon, too? Can I have a sword? Anything? Where am I going? I don't know where we're going, buddy, but I'm going with you. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and kill my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. I have a bow. I could just bop this German face. burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Bart. The efforts of the king's brother bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom. Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not a Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Sir Radzik Kobila is not a Talberg? and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzik Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. 
I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Look, we could take that army. What, they gonna get over the wall? We just poke them as they come over. Look, let me square off with the king. Just start reading fire down. Get off with you, Robot. <laughs> Robot was ready to swing that mace at some motherfuckers. to get to Scalis. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Uh... It's a robot. My parents yeah, this died one's better. There. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down, and maybe your lord will change his mind. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here, too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Good luck to you. I already, I already can sum up what Sigmund's after. He's just kind of fucking shit up at this rate. Well, now we get to steal a fucking horse. I don't even think I can use this bow. I could try, but I don't think I can. Fuck out of here. Can I steal this axe? Can I hit people with it? Can I murder? You there! Can I leave this castle? Jesus Christ be praised. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Let me out. Yeah, Mike. fuck it, don't, don't you know, know who, who I, am? I am? Someone is about to lose his fuck. teeth if he doesn't get lost quick. My mother and father were Let's left with scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard. Or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. All right, I'll see what I can do. I need to get out of here. You here again, boy? Take care. I don't know what I could do. I gotta figure out how the hell to get out of here. Okay, if 
I could hop down off of this. Where would I get a horse, though? That's the question. I think I could get a horse. I'd have to steal one from here. And then ride it out the fucking gate. Hmm. Let's try this. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. Let me out! Let me down! Yes! Yes! Come on! Yeah! Where the fuck is Skalix? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't know what's happening! Got you! What? Oh, what? Jesus, you gave me the runaround! Let what is happening? For Christ's sake! I have to bury my parents! They're going no... Except back in... If I don't bury them now, they'll be ripped to pieces by jackdaws and scattered over unhallowed ground. And I'm stuck here, a stone's throw away. All right, shove me. I'll pretend you caught me off guard and I fell over. I'll deal with the others. You just get out of here on the double. Yeah. I could take these looters. I've got a fucking bow. I'll kill some motherfuckers. I mean, it's not like they don't know that I left. <laughs> they they would easily catch up with me. Can I whip my bow out? That is one. Equip the bow, yeah. Oh, fuck me. 
Oh, I've got to get better at this whole fucking boat thing. Oh, this is unfortunate. Just kill me. Just, just, like, kill me. just do it. Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. Well, that happened. Let's try that again. Okay, I need to 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 figure out weapon switching. That's it. Okay. 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 Ooh. You have money on you. Money, 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 money. Give me all your money. Why is my health so low? guys have money give me money I know you're dead but you know oh, money it's the charcoal burner. oh that's great the charcoal burner did he have my money on him I'll fight you. I'll do it. I'll poke you. Why would anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Henry, you're trying to comprehend something that you can't comprehend, buddy. I'm hearing growling in game and I'm not seeing anything. Unless it's just my dog grumbling next to me, which is a very high possibility. Henry, can you jump over the fucking fence? There we go. left in these houses. Oh, 
Oh, great, I got a fast travel point. Give me a sec, guys. I'm watching Fairy Tale. I gotta switch episodes. I'm better at multitasking, and there's so many episodes between Fairy Tale and One Piece that, like, I've gotta watch them while I'm doing shit. I have no choice. <laughs> Hell, am I even going here? I'm trying to remember where the tavern was. So I can maybe find Bianca's body. I don't think it goes down here. This is like lower Skalligs. So we need to get up here. Come on, tell me I can't jump this. That's bull. Okay, how do I get down here then? I think we're gonna have to go around. I flee from, I think. Okay, yeah, so I think I know, I think we're going a genuinely generally right direction. How to get back up there? Maybe. God, this train is so fucking loud. Look, I just want a loot game. Why do they want to have to lock their fucking houses? Like. For real, leave your shit unlocked. Like. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> There's no door on this one. There's ain't shit here. Okay, so I came down from that way, I believe. So this should take us up and back and around to the castle. Henry, you'll be all right. There's the castle. Oh, they burnt that motherfucker to the ground. Well, I can't fucking get down that way. Okay, for how the fuck do I get in this city? Jesus Christ! Okay. 
Oh my god, this is blocked too? How the hell is every exit blocked? Or every entrance blocked? Seeing more bodies, maybe it means there's an entrance over here. Aha. Uh -huh. your money and I'll take your sword Bianca should be at the tavern Who are you talking to, Henry? I don't see any of my friends lying around here. Oh, bread. I thought the bar was over here. Oh, that's the bar. Sorry, Henry. Right, they died up this way.
Ah! Thank you, Papa. Find a spade. Where the fuck am I gonna find a spade at? I hear a dog barking. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? Bishop, what in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? No. Uh, Isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Seems to me that dog knows exactly why he's going for you. You're picking dead men's pockets. I mean, I have been too, but... Well, it looks like I'm not the only one. How is your looting more honorable than mine? True enough. The birds are the feather. Well, at least you admit it. Did you only come here to loot, or have you got other reasons? I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the day? When I fled, the human was it. They meant to violate her. God knows what happened. No, I don't. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Oh, God, I fucking hate you, you dick. How did you manage to get away? How do you think I ran? You lend me that space. I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it? My father forged it for Sir Radzig. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for Go oh, right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that works. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? No, fuck you! Here, give me that fucking shovel. Oh, okay, okay. Come here. Just need to take care of here first. Oh, I wish to be gone. Going now? Oh, that's right. We're gonna go bury them.
this the tree they wanted to be buried under? What up, dog? Damn it all. So sad. That's how you're kind of making me sad. Oh, oh God. Do you need some help? See the sword. Who are you? What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think they are? Franciscan brothers. We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? Let's fucking do this. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he just one tap. Oh, cool. father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go back in. <laughs> The games are over.
Ah, uh, yeah, we're finally past the fucking introduction. Oh god, what a start. <laughs> Honestly, this game has one of my favorite ever intros. Like, it's just so crazy. Like... Hey, I got the dog with me! Fuck. I'm in a dream! Ah, oh, they're kicking my ass. Let's do this then, bitches. Come on. Oh god, they got me cornered. They got me cornered. They got me cornered. Just gotta fight out the corner. Gotta fight our way out this corner. Oh. Around the corner, around the corner, around the corner. Oh god, I think they're behind me. I think I got one. Probably not. Oh, there's something in my eye! Wait, right, hold on! Time to fight out! Ah! Ah! My eye! Fuck! I'm getting hella points in strength, though. Do you need some help?
Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. We slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. Yeah, no, what the fuck am I doing here? What are you, are you doing there? Die. What? I mean, we'll do your DLC eventually. They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. I mean, I did not at all subtly get out of that yes. fucking castle. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. And I'm fucking tired. Go so back to sleep. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Yeah, no, I've been lying around long enough. I'm in Rete. Let's Uncle get the will be shit. Pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you and for medicine. That's a good deal of coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. That was good. I was fucking hungry. Do I have all my shit? Yeah, the ancient map. Take all.
if I can add that as an effect. I'll have to figure out how to read. Ah, damn. A word with you, young fellow. Hey, DLC. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshe, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. But it's not something any fool could do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Let's do it. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh... Let's say the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. But that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech Kohelnitz Miller had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Yeah, fuck I think it I've already there. heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make me dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and, uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. May the Lord watch over you. Hey, I want that dog. I'm pretty sure I come to you to get the dog. Teresa, fucking let me talk to you. Where are you going? Have you eaten yet? Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Look at the state you're in. What's that dog you have here? He looks familiar. Don't you remember him? It's Mart, the butcher's dog from Scalitz. Ah, of course. When I went back to bury my parents, he was guarding his master's dead body. A faithful dog. How come he's here? When we carted you here, we took Mart along too. He's been hanging around the mill ever since. 
busy obey you. Me? <laughs> not much. He's got a mind of his own, and I'm just not strict enough. Ah, spoiled then. No, he just hasn't learned many commands. But he's well able to beg for a piece of meat. How's he doing? A lot better now. I slipped him something good now and again when Uncle wasn't looking. He won't starve to death then. What does the miller have to say about it? He can't stand him. How's that? Every time he sees him, he starts shouting that he's a useless mouth to feed and that'll skin him. Jesus. And it didn't even soften his heart when Mutt brought a hare from the woods. He was happy to eat it, but it didn't change his mind. I could have a word with him. Mm, that would be a waste of time. How long has he been with you? More or less since we came here. He runs off now and again, but he always comes back. Sometimes I don't see him all day. I think he likes to go wandering. So he's doing quite well then? Yeah. I'd keep him, but he reminds me too much of Tinker, you know? I don't want to think about Scalit. So, I thought maybe you might take him with you? Me? Fuck yeah, I'll take the dog with me. I'm sure the two of you would get on great. He's a handsome fella and lovable. I'd be very happy if you had him. But we never had a dog at the smithy. We never needed one. Come on. He's got no one. Uh, yeah, right. I'll take him. I'll take him. He can keep me company on my travels. Thanks, Henry. Go and get him, then. He's sniffing around somewhere here. Who's he just here? Where's he at? What up, dog? Come here. Hey, Mutt. Remember me? Wanna go with me? Come on then. We'll get on like a house on fire. <laughs> that right. <laughs> shitty analogy, but all right. Being falls too low. Doctor commands the runoff. Takes the time for it comes back. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's see. Uh, addition to walls from the second device. Chances of invading. Okay, invading. I'll take that. God damn it. Officially at the start of this. Alright, though, so that's gonna be it for this episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. God, that was such an amazing intro to the game. I loved it so much. It brought back so many amazing memories when I first played this game, chilling in my room. Like, I think it was the day after I got out of, of school. I came home, just jumped straight on it. Oh, it was perfect. I played it for like hours on end. But, Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button, guys, to help me and help the channel. Every subscriber counts. It all goes to supporting me. Follow me on Patreon to help support the channel. And, uh, yeah, as always, I will see all of you in the next one. And so will Mutt. See you guys.